afternoon. Welcome to your BBB weekly webisode. My name is Crystal and I will be talking to you about reporting an ad challenge. Once upon a time, we lived in an industry full of deceptive and hurtful marketing practices. They were aimed at making the company money and had little regard for the consumer. In fact, some of the crazier advertising of the 20th century did suggest that smoking and sugar were good for one's health and that cocaine as an additive was a cure-all for things such as morphine addiction, indigestion, headaches, and impotence. Have a Coke and a Smile took on a whole new meaning. Since then, it is well known that smoking can kill. Overindulging in sugar can lead to obesity and cocaine, according to WebMD, is responsible for more U.S. emergency room visits than any other illegal drug. It harms the brain, the heart, blood vessels, and lungs, and even causes sudden death. Fast forward to the 21st century, there are still misleading advertisements out there. The main difference between then and now is there are organizations in place that keep businesses and their advertising in check, such as the Better Business Bureau. We can't do it alone though, and that's why we need people like you to point us in the right direction. So what are some things that you might look for? Think about when you are being advertised to, is the ad honest? Are claims validated? For instance, does that weight loss wonder drug you read or heard about cite case studies of individuals who have benefited from the product? Are names of test recipients listed or how about any doctors or other authority figures? Sometimes these testimonials are not exactly truthful and may need to be checked on and that's where we come into play. When you go to make a purchase, is the listing price less than the price charged at the cash register? If not, this is an example of something that we need to hear about. As far as good deals, is there a catch? In order to get that $5 off a month for cell phone service, do you need to sign up for a three-year contract? The savings may not pay off in the long run, especially if the service isn't so great. Also, any catch to an offer must be cited in the ad or that is a violation of the BBB's Code of Advertising. If an offer claims to be free but isn't, that needs to be reported. False claims should be reported, including companies that say that they are far superior to others. This may well be in some situations, but to say this with integrity, a company needs to back these claims with facts and figures. For more questions about what qualifies as false advertising, visit us online at bbb.org. Any advertisement, whether it is on TV, the radio, a mailer, publication, billboard sign, sign at a business, on the internet, etc. can qualify as an ad dispute. If uncertain, let us know. We will be so glad to help.